Hi, this is Mr. Murphy. Today we're in Chapter 2, Discount Interest. What is that? Well, let's compare discount interest against simple interest, which was Chapter 1. Let's say you needed $100,000 for some reason. Maybe you're, who knows what you're buying. You need $100,000 and you're going to close on a loan and you need to walk away from that closing with $100,000. All right, well, with simple interest, you borrow $100,000. Here's the amount you're going to receive. If the interest rate, I stands for simple interest, if the interest rate were 5% and you borrowed uh, the $100,000 for one year, then one year later, you'd have to pay back $105,000, representing $100,000 of principal and $5,000 of interest. Well, it's a little bit different with discount interest in Chapter 2. You still need the $100,000 from the closing to purchase whatever it is you're purchasing. You still need the $100,000, but you actually have to borrow $105,263 to walk away with a hundred thousand and then you'll pay back a hundred and five thousand two hundred sixty three dollars one year later cost a little bit more with discount interest the banks make a little bit more with a loan using the bank discount process see the five percent the rate is the same but it's a discount rate the five percent is actually computed on the amount that you pay back, not on the amount that you're going to receive at the closing. Let's see how that works with an example. Okay, there's a series of problems in Chapter 2. We're going to pick one from Exercises 2.1. And we're going to pick number 15. And to do the computations of this problem, we need a key formula. We need a key formula 2.3. Again, the exercises are number 2.1, problem number 15, and we need key formula 2.3. I'm going to read the problem. Maybe you want to open up your book and follow me along. It's a short, it's a short problem. Number 15. Suppose you buy a $15,000 piece of art with nothing down. The bank will make you a loan using discount interest of 8% for three years. Find the amount of the loan needed. Well, okay, let's think about that. The amount of the loan needed, you need 15000 You need to walk away from the closing with 15000 Okay. But we already know, we need to borrow slightly more than that, significantly more than that. You need to borrow more than 15000 because you need, you don't want that discounted because you need the whole 15000 What is the amount that you need to borrow? Well, that's what we're going to figure out. The amount, S, is unknown. That's what we're going to calculate. And we're going to use key formula 2.3.
Take a look at key formula 2.3 and you'll see that it says S, the amount, can be computed by dividing P in discount interest, that's known as the proceeds, that's the amount you need at the closing. You're going to divide P by 1 minus D, the discount rate, times time. T stands for time. In this case, three years. So let's plug in those numbers. A second, one little fix here. Minus 0.08 times 3. Okay, so take out your trusty calculator, and if you divide 15,000 by 1 minus 0.08 times 3, you might get the correct answer. Well, you might not, because really what Unless you're really a sophisticated calculator user, you should put the denominator in parentheses. That way your calculator will know that all these numbers that you are entering are all in the denominator. So again, divide 15,000 by left parent, 1 minus 0.08 times 3, right parent, then hit the equal sign, and you'll find that the answer is 19,000. Seven hundred and thirty six dollars and eighty four cents. So, needing fifteen thousand dollars, you need to borrow nineteen thousand seven hundred and thirty six dollars and eighty four cents. You'll get fifteen thousand dollars today, but using bank discount, if you borrow it for three years at an eight percent rate, in three years you'll be paying back. $19,736.84. Hey, that must be a pretty nice piece of art. That's it for today. Thanks a lot.